you look at a guy like LeBron. LeBron's played more games than young guys like Trey Young, De'Aaron Fox, Luka Doncic, John Morant. He's played more games than all of them this year. He's played more games than Anthony Davis. He hasn't missed a game, all right? And that's that's definitely a factor. Given the fact that he's 36, I mean, he's having a great year. Yes, he is playing career low minutes, but that's also because he hasn't missed a game. And right now, LeBron has shown that even at 36, he can still be at the top of the game. Now, I will say, I don't know about you, Caleb, but do you think LeBron has played at the best player in the league level? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't, it's just, whenever I see these other guys play, it's just like, and maybe it's because LeBron has done it for so long that you kind of just get used to it. And it's not that impressive anymore. Maybe that's what it is, but I don't think he has. I will say though, if say he does win the MVP at 36, he would be the oldest. Carl Malone won it at 35. And we know how voting for MVP is kind of subjective, right? They like to have a, a reason behind it. They like to have a storyline behind it. Narrative bill. Yeah. To be able to say that the oldest, to say that the arguable goat of the sport won an MVP at 36, it would, it would mean a lot, but I don't know if, see, I don't know the narrative behind him there. You can make great, you can make great narratives for all of these guys, right? Like a bunch of guys like Kevin Durant, you could pull out of nowhere and say, look, People said he was going to turn into Bruno Caboclo, that kid that does the Diamonds basketball you, podcast. You yeah, the kid that does the Diamonds basketball that. podcast, he hated him. So, you know, but like narrative-based, see, I don't like narrative-based voting. I never did like that. I always felt like the MVP was kind of really driven by that. But at the same time, voter fatigue is also a very big prominent thing in the, in the industry. So maybe, maybe. LeBron does lead all NBA players in all-star votes too. So I, I don't know. I just will say with with the way that narratives work, I think LeBron winning MVP at 36 is an insane narrative. But I will say this, Caleb, and you tell me if I'm wrong. Has LeBron's game declined? No, I don't think. I disagree. I I would say his game has declined in in the aspect that he's not able to do some of the things he used to be able to do. His shot is maybe not as fluid as maybe it was a few years ago. He doesn't have as much athleticism, of course. We all know that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like those are the flaws. And, and the reason with that is, I'll say this. If LeBron wins MVP this year of all years, why has he not won it the past five, six, seven years? Do that. Then that goes back to voter fatigue. I feel like people are like, we could vote for him, but what about this guy? And it's like, it just, I don't know. It's very narrative-based, very voter fatigue-based. MVP voting... Most years they get it right, I would say, at least pretty close. But then there's some years where it's just so crazy. I I just try to stay away from it. I agree. And you brought up a good point of voter fatigue and just kind of wanting to bring up a new guy. 